Ooh, that was a good one. Mm. All right, gamers, we're here. And we're about to investigate the gold player claims. I mean, sorry, uh, conquer one player claims. What are the claims? The claims are against the players I play, there is no easy, oh, just X, Y, and Z. Their builds will be just as clean as the pros. <laughs> If I had Lucifer's Micro, I feel I would be perfectly competitive versus top 5 to 10 players. I'm gonna find his match history now. With me today, Core W. Hello, YouTube gamers. One of the best team game players I have played with in the past week. And one of the worst the micro players in Kung Free. Of course, the guy we're investigating. Heal berries. He has his uh, match history closed, but don't worry. We found some of his opponents that have match history open. Oh, this guy's diamond. I mean, it matches that he's playing against heal berries because they're the same rank. I want to make one thing clear. I am not here to trash our purple gamer about his performance, okay? I will be looking at what he does for the sake of the argument that the players in this league are playing perfect, okay? And by the way, I just want to say that uh, Nicotine is a diamond player and he has beaten Hillberries in blue. And if you don't know, Hillberries is playing Ottoman and Rus, which are the two strongest sims in the game right now. So that's, I, I just found that a little bit of information um, interesting, but I'm assuming that a diamond three player uh, in purple is probably has crazy micro. So if I'm cackling at purple, I'm not making fun of his gameplay. I'm just cackling at the fact that he's not playing perfect because of this statement. Nicotine, I love everything you do. I don't know anything about you, but I love everything uh, you do. And I appreciate you for beating Hillberries. Thank you. You agree with everything, correct? I mean, I saw some villager idle time on the town center for 10 seconds already in the first No, no, so... no, 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 you saw wrong. You saw wrong. I'm sure he was lagging there. Three on, hunt a... three on hunting cabin. How do we feel about that? That's perfect already, right? That's From perfectly Hillbears? balanced, yeah. And right now I'm at a 2 minute 30 mark and he's walking with two scouts together. Well, no, 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 hold on. You, yo, you gotta follow me. You can't go, you can't go ahead. We gotta dissect this. We gotta see okay, the perfect okay. gameplay. Listen, I am going to nitpick, right? Because the statement from Hillberries is that there is no difference between a top level pro player and a Conquer One Diamond 3 that he is, okay? So here we go. Number one, he is using three for hunting cabin, which is wrong. We stopped doing this about a year ago. Wrong. Villager, TC was not idled onto the berries, so the villager popped out on the other side. Something, you know, not very good, I will say. Just a small mistake can happen Just to the best, Just a small right? mistake. Now... Can happen to the best. Right, right, right. I'm sure this doesn't happen like every game. It's just this game, you know? And, yeah, and, and keep, it does happen an to... Town center. <laughs> right, right, right. And it does, it does happen to pro players too sometimes. But, you know, I'm just saying it's interesting that 10 seconds in, I already found two things he's doing wrong. Which are very basic, actually. And uh, now I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go on his micro. You know what I mean? Because he said he doesn't know how to micro. Yeah, that's fine. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna, you know, go too far on that. Uh, can, can we check the content out really quick? Yes. I... <sighs> okay, he's back producing. <laughs> Just a little downtime. Yeah, guys, listen. Top level pro players, like when we play finals, dude, I TC my... I idle my TC for like 30 seconds in the first minute as well. Like, it's nothing weird. He's behind a villager and nothing has happened. Yeah, I... This happens with top players all the time, man. We just don't build villagers at all. It's no worry about it. You don't need them, right? Yeah, you don't need them. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you have free scouts, that's like... Cool as well. That's basically a villager, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, 11 versus 10. Now, you might be wondering if you're just tuning in, yo, how did that happen? Uh, maybe he made one from the TC, but mm -mm -mm, no, no, no. No, he did. I paid attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, you might think that, but that's not what happened here. <laughs> you, you, can, can you check the, the scouts? They're sharing their hands. <laughs> what do you mean their hands? 
I mean, they're they're walking together. They're scared alone, right? I mean, yeah, the, the yeah. Is fully discovered already. Because you might much. die to a wolf, you know. Now yeah. this, is, by the way, this is not micro, right? Because I'm not, we're not talking about microing these scouts. We're talking about the fact that he's sending them together. That's different. Now, I love what Nicotine is doing. He's playing perfectly. You know, he's Diamond 3, no mistakes so far. Love what yeah, he's doing. He's only playing one scout as well, right? Mm hmm. Beautiful gameplay from him. Kremlin going what? up. Okay. Go ahead. No, no. What, I think the Kremlin position is fine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the only other place you can place it is like in the back, maybe. Yeah, but you'd be pretty bad, back, right? right? You can maybe put it a little bit. I would put it forward. I would put it forward. Yeah. I would put it all the way to berries, probably. Yep. And then just go in the other wood lane. But what do I know, right? And what does Core know? Like, I would put it here. Yep, yeah, but you are just a, a casual Kong free player, right? Well, we're the you're same. Not... No, no, yeah, we're the same like as Lucifron. him. Yeah, you're not like Lucifron. He's microing perfectly and he's playing the game like a machine. Right, right. But I'm just saying, like. You and I are same knowledge as this guy, so we would also place it here. But I don't think yeah, we sure. would, so that's interesting. Yeah. And that doesn't add up now. Now now I'm getting all confused. Getting all tripped up. How much bounty do we have? Uh let me check. Uh we have <clears throat> two sixty. Okay, okay. Versus one scout. He's gonna get a few more here and there. Yeah, that's okay, right? Not bad, not bad. Now the double scouts are still running together. Yeah. yeah. Oh! I... This can I, happen to the best. This, this could happen, happen to, to the, the best. best. Five, yeah. six, six seconds, items. seven, eight, At the three eight, minute mark, it's not nine, the end of ten, the run, right? Eleven. Oh. Only, guys! It, people in the chat, stop right now. Stop right now. He had idle of seven villagers for eleven to twelve seconds. So what? That is just the, like 40% of his entire economy. That's like not the end of the world, right? Yeah, half of his villagers are idle for 11 seconds. Like, stop. Yeah, but this is already at the late game, right? We're already at three minute mark. Like, the build order is done. The game is about to end. You can have some idols here and there. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but like when I play games, I usually idle half of my economy, like two, three minutes in usually for like 10, 15 seconds. Cause sometimes like I'll play and I'll be like checking out like a phone and the phone drops and then I gotta like go pick it up and then I don't see that the villagers idle. Cause you know, yeah. you can't just shift click the villagers. You have to, yeah. right. And don't forget, you're also busy microing all your free scouts, right? Like right. you cannot focus which on all the is, things together. Which he is doing. Yeah. Right, right. Do, do we count this as microing villagers? Maybe that's the... Maybe that's I guess the you can angle. say so, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe he can also blame the game for not automatically going to the next tree. Right, right. Maybe right, it's right. a bug in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was uh, busy writing the Reddit. Hold on, hold on. We got someone in the chat. He says, "Ready for this, Core?" Yeah. He is calling me a racist. Are you ready wow. to see to hear why? He says. No. Why this hate against hillberries? Because he's Bosnian and Muslim. I thought he is Serbian. But unlike you, I don't hate people because they are they are religious or from a different country. I don't see race, color, religions. I only see people making very, very stupid claims. And that's gonna be a perma. See you later, loser. 07. Let's continue. All right. Yeah, I thought he was Serbian. But anyway, <clears throat> let's continue. Okay, okay. I only see gold players, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> We're analyzing games and claims. Guys, I wanna say something core before we continue. Guys, listen up. Some people are gonna cry in the chat and be like, Why are you using your stream to bully this guy? That's, that's so unfair towards him. I didn't say anything about this guy for fuck knows how long. 
This is a person who keeps making threads about me and I am just responding and doing some investigation about his gameplay. You don't want me to make a clown out of you and a video out of you? Don't make posts about me. It's that simple. Now... I mean, technically we're just coaching him, right? Technically we're... Right. We're trying to see where it went wrong and why he is hard stuck in Conquer 1. Exclamation mark coaching. And right, then... right. <laughs> it's free coaching for him? No, but the, the coaching will not help him. It's because of the Mongols that he is hard stuck. All right. He's not even playing against the Mongols right now, so he should basically just win this game. He right? should, he's going to win this game for sure, right? Oh, yeah, wait, sure. he lost. No, no, he lost this game. Or maybe he oh. made Keshex this guy. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> True, he's just... Yeah, maybe he made Keshex. <laughs> okay, so let's let's look at his opponent on wait, the wait, other wait. side. Maybe, maybe we have Mangudai on the market. Maybe that's where he's losing. Can we check that real quick? Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why I he know lost. Why we're losing. Wait, the Mongol units. wait, let me... So he has Keshix and Mangudai. Wait, let me see. Does his villager have a tower? Oh my god, there it is. It's a tower. There it is. We figured it out. Wow. Oh. Now, let's look at his opponent, because we also know that he is Diamond 3, which is the same rank as Hillberries. So he's also playing perfectly, as we see. No, no, so, no, no, no. The so, Hillberries is Conqueror 1. Don't forget that. Right, but, you know, they're the same. Um... Now, we see that at this level, players play perfectly just like the top players. Supply blocked at 20, uh, building with three villagers because, um, yeah, we see but that two... happens to everyone, right? Right, we see, especially at 20. Two cisterns yeah. not connected, happens to everyone. Uh, so yeah, so far, perfect gameplay from both. I, I honestly don't know if we're watching Marine Lord versus Lucifron. Or we are watching uh, Conquer One and a Diamond Three right now. I'm genuinely like confused what's happening right now. I don't. Are they smurfing? Could be. Hmm. Okay. There's the uh, there's a cistern coming up. He is making that cistern uh, uh, aqueduct pretty fast though, so I will give him that. Maybe with a bit too many villagers, for my taste. Because that's a lot of idle, but he is making them. What do you think? Where is Hillberry's going to place the concept? He he's gonna place it on deer plus berries here. I mean, that's you cannot go wrong with that, right? Yeah, sure. You like that? You cannot go wrong with that. I mean, that's such an obvious spot. There's no way he he messes that one up. Yeah. I don't believe it. A good bongo player would already tower that spot, right? Oh, that's interesting. He mined like 100 extra. Why do you think that is? Yeah, he, uh, he's probably going for uh, a tower rush of his own right now. And he mined the additional stone to upgrade his towers for the future. Oh, you think that's what... Yeah. Because I was wondering, like... When I play, I try to get like 350, maybe 360 sometimes. Maybe 370. If I'm AFK a little bit. 450, yeah, but... usually not what I go for. Yeah, but you might need some stone in 20 minutes. So he's just... Mining mm, in advance. Right, because you're already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and okay, yeah. Maybe he's also going for the Spaskaya Tower, and then he can immediately make stone walls. Or he's mining more stone. He's like, no, no, I need more of that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that is a, a safety TC for sure. That's covering a lot, actually. That TC covers that Kremlin, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, why are you cackling like that? I love this TC. Yeah, me too. It's great. Okay. With four building a stable. Okay. Yeah. That is a... He's committing, right? Okay. So he can spend oh. the 140 food he banked up to make a knight instantly, right? Okay, a little bit of idle time, even though the horseman is not in range. Yeah, but he could potentially walk back in range. That... Okay, that's... See, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking at that high level. Now... Are we counting this into micro? I'm not actually sure. I mean, no, he's just expecting a mistake to hit in any second, right? And he's also making the stable with four, so can, he can immediately spend the 140 food. Yeah, he's so gonna he immediately knight make a knight. Okay, yeah. he made stables oh, oh, wait, at 626. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Yeah. He's gonna. He's about to start up a knight. The second yeah. TC is idle. 
Yeah. Oh, he starts. I mean, he has no food, right? He has to make a knight right now. He, he made the stable before, it's, so it's actually it's really good. Yeah. yeah, it's really good that he rushed out that stable so he can make a knight and and. Uh, do, do you know that. the ability from the Kremlin? I think it can make something like a spearman, right? And you can just pop it instantly. Wait, hold that on, actually... hold on, hold on. He dropped his phone. His DC is idle again. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, he, he cannot support two TCs at the same time, right? Oh, I idle on the main and on the natural TC. But at least you're making a knight right but now. But he so. is making a knight, that is true. Yeah. And because he needs to defend that mining camp. So Yeah, the, the, the gremlins couldn't do that. Right, right, right. Oh, Let's... wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he going? Hold up. Let's... I tower. think you're making a tower, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way he's making a tower. <laughs> God, these two horsemen, they did their job. Guys! <laughs> so, okay, so let me just... Okay, first of all... Oh my, he's behind the villagers! <laughs> he was never ahead. <laughs> he's behind since the first minute. Okay, so let's let's decipher. Let's take a breather. We're seven minutes into the game. Um, he's on two town centers, but he is behind on villagers. There is a two horsemen right here. He could have done what Kor said. He could have just popped one gremlin, which is fifty-five food, defended that, and that's it. Yeah, but 55 food is technically a villager, right? But he's not making villagers anyway. So. <laughs> he's not making villagers anyway. Then, he can just wait and... Like, if he already did this, he might as well just let the knight come out and defend it. But instead, he is going to idle 10 <laughs> villagers to make a tower. And he's as making a Rus. Of villagers behind that. As Rus. And he made... Wait, he made Kronitz too! Now, what is the best part in all of this core? I don't know if, you, if you're seeing it, because you know you don't have to control the mouse. The best part about this, guys, is that his opponent is castle rushing. So his opponent is not even being aggressive. Now, what's even better than that? That he has two fucking scouts on the gold seeing that his opponent is castle rushing. So this tower is, is just like, so unnecessary. It's absolutely insane. Now, Core, I don't want to be the. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Do you have anything to add, or do you disagree with my assessment here? Or no. Are you sure? Uh, I think you are about as right as. All right. I'm just. I'm just asking, guys. Core is here to keep me accountable. Okay. What do you think? At what point do we? At what? Point are we ahead in villagers for the first time in this game? That's I mean, a hard we are one. Villagers, right? That's a hard. We we are back on producing villagers right now. But we're already down two, right? So. Mm -mm. Oh shit! Really fucking right. hell, man. Wait, maybe so... the other guy is. Wait, wait, just uh, maybe the other guy is double producing the villagers because the mongols <laughs> is the, the mongol. only way he can lose, right? <laughs> wait, so let's think about this. He has had a second TC for two villager uh production cycles right uh maybe three you think three yeah, yeah, yeah. i think the tc is up since at least one minute okay let's be nice two villager idle time that means he should have been on 28 versus 28 now if he produced he would have been on 30 or 31 if core says it's three versus 28 but he is two villagers behind so that means he has had an idle time of four to five villagers seven minutes into the game <laughs> how do you expect him to micro two tc he didn't even micro one properly <laughs> that's true but <laughs> now i've had some bad games in my life you know i've played some shit games Core, I'm sure you've played some bad games where you're like, man, fuck, I could have done so much better. But I don't remember having five villager missed at seven minutes into the game. 
Actually, I'm gonna go as far as say that I don't think I've seen a Conqueror 3 have that. Like a fresh Conqueror 3, not even a top tier pro. I might be wrong though. Run. Yeah, you never know, right? But... Right. Can we check if we have survival techniques? Because right now we're gathering the, the heavy deer. Oh, he oh. just got it. He oh. just got oh. it. Okay. He cooking. Yeah. I mean, the upgrade is expensive, right? He has to get a lot of resources to get it. Right, right, right. Now, I okay, love this, okay. what he's doing with the deer. This about to be long distance gathering. Love yeah. that. And the hunting cabins are usually not worth it anyway, right? It's not like you're also getting passive gold income from it. Mm -hmm. Scouting is really good. Uh, he sees all the gold being mined, but somehow I guarantee you he has no idea that castle is coming. Oh, okay, he's harassing. Let's see. Uh, look, there, he's using the stone yeah, he mined for the power. You were right. I knew it. Dude. He's on next level, man. Yo, oh, you were yeah, right. Soldiers, eight twenty-four. Ah, oh, never mind. We're still even. Okay. Oof, that hunting cabin. Now, Core, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Uh, I'm not an expert, right? No, but no, I'm, can... I'm not gonna say it. I want you to analyze this hunting cabin. Where would you put this hunting cabin if you were in this game? Technically, there are two options, right? You can put okay. it straight next to the berries, or you can put it straight next to the wood line, next to the three deer, so you get more gold over this. Point. Right here or right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would do something like that too. But you can even no hold up. You can even go to the mm -hmm. shoreline and take the fish. You could do that if you're feeling very spicy. But he's decided to put hunting cabin. Make sure it doesn't touch any of the trees. No, no, we're covering two trees, right? That's at least four gold. Two trees, right. Yeah. Instead of I mean, putting it here, I would personally put it here. Because you already fucked up the positioning, right? So you might as well get the berries and get some gold. But you could also do it here for extra gold. Yeah, but the, what is he supposed to do with all this gold? He's already mining with 10, right? Like, in that case, his build order is just not going to work out. True. Very, that's very true. Okay, we do have some harassment. He kills a scout, actually. It wasn't a harassment. He just... And he accidentally scouts the Aja. Yeah. Because he was chasing the scout from the other side of the map. Okay, he's getting harassed. Okay. You yeah, know, he's about to lose one scout. I mean, he has three scouts anyway, right? You don't need three. Yeah, we're not going to go too much on the micro. He said his micro is not yeah. there. And we just saw it right there. So we're not going to, you know, we're not going to bash on that too much. Oh, wait a minute. No way. He just said idle again. That's crazy. Okay, getting mining cap. I mean, we're already up two villagers, right? That second TC is paying off completely. That, that's, you might as well just stop producing a little bit, right? Because you're ahead just already. to make it fair, right? Right. I mean, okay. the game is not fair if you're up like 20 or 30 villagers, right? Mm hmm That is true. Okay. Oh, yeesh, I Not again, man! I mean, he, he has two knights and three spearmen in queue with one oh barracks. Oh my I mean, god, he the, has no food right now. The second like, TC2? Yeah, but how oh, is he supposed uh, to make villagers? He, oh, has, right, so right, much, he, he has to fit all his production buildings, right? And also the free spearmen. True, like out of true, one true. barracks. Okay, guys, yeah, it's like, not his fault. It's just because he queued up a knight and then two extra spearmen. That's why he can produce. So it's not his fault. It's He's macroing just like anyone at the top level would. I think this is just a bad game and an unlucky spawn for him, right? Like, I think in another game, this is surely not gonna happen again. How do we know this is the same guy? Oh, we know. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> All right. He's cooking. He's gonna go harass a little bit. What is hey, this where elo? Where would you harass at this point with this knight? Uh, what is this elo? Guys, this is a conqueror one player. This is a Conquer 1 player that got offended that I said a top level player and Conquer 1 is far more apart than a Conquer 1 to a Gold League. So he is proving us wrong here by idling TC for about 6-7 villagers so far. Okay, let, wait, mm -hmm. we have 4 knights. What would you do with them right now? And, and yes, I'm not sarcastic. This guy is Conquer 1. Uh, what would I do? I would probably attack the gold or maybe check the food sources. Because I, yeah, I don't know I what I would do that as well because the front berries ran out already, right? And we mm -hmm. have some scouts. So we could technically use the scouts 
to use the vision, right? And see where. No, 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 but no, 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 no. You can't do that. Because these two yeah, scouts, they micro, go together. Right? No, no, yeah, yeah, they, go yeah, to, they go together. Yeah, I mean, they are like the best friends, right? They have you, to get yeah, a two you, minute mark, right? You cannot share them. You cannot like, split you the them, scouts. Uh, one, yeah, yeah, it's like the best friends forever. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah you, you can't split those guys. But I would probably attack uh, these berries. Um, where's the second deer pack, by the way? Probably in the north somewhere. But, I mean. He doesn't know, right? Wait. Oh, it's here. It wasn't showing up on the map. I was so confused. Okay. This is a... By the way, <clears throat> this is a terrible spawn for Byzantines, by the way. Like, legit. He has two back goals, which is very nice. But forward berries... Look at this second... The, the other berries. What the fuck is that? It's next to trade. This is his deer, his boar, and the other deer. So very unfortunate spawn, to say the least. Yeah, now, I mean, I saw bits players already leaving at the two-minute mark with a bad spawn, right? I think it was a, a top player as well. He played versus Vortex not too long ago. He just left at the two-minute mark because he had a bad spawn. And look what Nicotine is doing after this here. It's crazy, right? Wait, what did I do that? <laughs> yeah, you left on Golden Pit, I think. Oh, I thought you mean in tournament. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> All right, that wasn't ladder. I, I thought you meant tournament. I was like, wait, I don't no, play no, no. games. But yeah, I mean, I would never. We're talking about the ladder elo, right? We cannot talk about tournaments. Yeah. Then. If it was quick match, I would have never left. Yeah, hey, because it's super competitive, right? And uh, you get an award for being first after this. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to um, over here. Okay, yeah. macroing like a machine right now. Look what at that. What do we Produce... think about the spearman next to the gold? Do you think the, the protection there is needed? No, no, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if there's yeah, like the, yeah. the stone might attack. Yeah, it's not like we have a wall and a tower and technically gremlins and technically we're attacking right now. And I mean, maybe he, he's about to face some proxy barracks behind his base, right? Hold on, we got some idle time. It, it must be because he doesn't have food. Oh. I mean, right now he's about to age up, right? He cannot spend the food to make villages. Ah, you think he's saving up for age up. Smart, that's yeah. smart. I mean, he has to catch up. Okay, there it is. He, he restarts it. So I get he changed his mind. He was like, no, I'm not gonna produce. And then he's like, no, I will produce actually. Okay, he's gonna get that boar. Very nice. He's gonna get some uh, bounty. The knight dancing a little bit. Okay, love that. Oof. Yo, the monk. He should definitely intercept that. <clears throat> yeah, but that, that would be Ooh, next level. That high trade house is gonna be... Right okay, there. what do we guess? I say this is... I think he's like a tier 2 bounty, right? I think this is 187. I... Man, who's slacking in this town uh, center? Uh, Why 20 is it never idols? Wait, 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 20 idols? Uh, oh, no. oh, oh my God. Just for a few seconds. Just for, Bro, it's just like... Uh, it's not even half his economy. Why you got a nitpick like that? Like what? He had 20 <laughs> idols out of 45. That's nothing. Yeah. How much like, do you think the high on. traders will be? It's gonna be thick, like two thirty. Mm, I say two hundred eleven. Okay, Chad, guess. Winner gets a perma button. <clears throat> I fuck, man. What is wrong with this town center? <laughs> I think maybe he's not hotkeying it. What is, guys? Uh, the game is not paused. It's actually running in real time. What is Ooh. happening with this town? Who's AFKing? Oh, there it is again. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> It's back up. I mean, there's just too much going on right now, right? And Yo, the micro is just... Beautiful. Beautiful wow. denial. Man. Nice catch. Nice wow. catch. Clean. Clean right there. Okay. Oh, TC. Yo! Ah, and uh, look at the turns that the villager is getting idled as soon as he pops out. Ah. Second time. That's probably why he's not making villagers out of it anymore, because the they don't villagers work. go idle. Yeah, they just go idle. That's crazy. That's okay, crazy. Can we check the hydrators? No, hold on. I'm checking this TC just to see when it's going to go back online. I mean, right now, there's more important stuff to spend. It went, on, right? it went idle at like 12.20. I mean, I'm sure, already... guys, I'm sure he's going to start producing at any moment now. Give me a second. <laughs> I mean, we're already up four villages. Like, you gotta stop at some point. No, right? no, it's it's, have... a, it's about he's about to queue up. Okay, two villagers missed to to idle, but that's nothing. Oh, 
There it is. Uh, guys, I mean, come it was on. Just it's, 50 seconds. Like, yeah, <laughs> don't need pick. It's like 50 seconds. It's like basically nothing. Like, it's just a total of five minutes already, right? It's nothing. It's, it's 231. What did I say? I said 230. I think you actually said 231, didn't you? Wait, did I say 230? No, I think I said 230. How do you get conquer like this? Suited monkey, let me answer that question for you. Because <laughs> Conquer 1 is not as perfect as people think. Conquer 1 is very good. I said 231? That's crazy. Conquer 1 players are very good in the general scheme of the of the game, right? If you compare all the players. Conquer 1s are very good compared to gold players. Very good. A Conquer 1 would crunch a gold player. A Conquer 1 player to a top tier player. That ain't... Mm -mm. That ain't it, Chief. Now, this TC is fully producing. Okay, he's queued up like three villagers, so now hey, he's gonna be can you, can you quickly check the gold? We are making an emergency house right now. The gold. Check <clears> the gold <throat> real quick. I think we're making a house of five or six villagers right now. Uh, uh, by the way, I am not just... I want to make this clear. I want... Hold on, course. Sorry, I have to do these disclaimers. Otherwise, they're gonna rip my head off after. I'm not shitting on a Conquer 1 player, or a Gold player, or a Diamond player. I am just shitting on one person that's making funny claims. And I just want to give a shout out, Core. You know to who? No. I want to give a shout out to Bosnian people. I actually oh, have family oh. in Bosnia. So I want to give them a shout out. Right there. Yeah. I love everyone. I love everyone on Balkan. All Balkan people are real gamers. Right here. Boop! Thank you. And that guy I got permabanned earlier? You're never gonna get that man. Sorry, I just had to adjust my glasses. <clears throat> I'm sad I never got to go to Bosnia, because I do have family there, but maybe one day. Anyway, let's keep going. <clears throat> 16 idols, 5 villagers up already at the 30 minute mark. I think the TC definitely paid off at this point. <laughs> right? Well, if if not for that, the TC definitely did pay off because it can garrison as well. Yeah. And also, uh, this rally point has been a bit wrong for about 3-4 minutes. Yeah, but that can happen to everyone. Let's not be too harsh. Right, right, that is true. That is very true. That is a good point you're making. Okay. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe the Byzantine player has a hidden TC. That's why he's not getting more and more ahead in villager count. Mm. Maybe he's somewhere what? in the corner. Can we check that real quick? What do we think, think about he... what do we think about this villager split though? Is he cooking something here at this point or? I think this looks like a fast imperial, right? He's probably about to drop a Pascaya tower. Or I, I don't I don't know right because I don't I don't have all the game knowledge but I would assume you would want more villagers on wood so you can make production buildings is that am I close there or I mean we don't know what his plan is right right yeah it we might be a fast imperial deep into the details mm -hmm. Ooh, okay I like this 21 villagers on three berries yeah that that's good because <laughs> eight I villagers think they're about can... to be idle really soon no, no, no. If they're idle, he's gonna send yes, them back I to work straight away. Already. Wait, yeah, what did you 28 say? Years old. Wait, what did you, you say? Yo, call what the hell, bro? I think about to be idle soon. Oh! That's not what I heard. Oh. What did I say? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, Cork, could um, you repeat that? Yes, I played with the cock already. I'm 28 years old. Alright. Yo, call what the hell, bro? Right. You even replayed it, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, he has two idle here now. I that idle TC as well. You know what? <clears throat> There's something wrong with this TC. I'm telling you, because the main one's not idle, but the second one is very idle. Mm. Okay. What do we think about the uh, the gold wood uh, food split right now, Core? I mean, he's probably going for a lot of upgrades, right? I think he, he's just making a, a lot of upgrades. He's going for heavy gold units. He's also mm -hmm. getting a good high trade house. 
I think maybe he's also making a market and buying some other resources with the additional gold he's mining. Mm -hmm. Core is my idol. I, I do think that maybe getting some upgrades such as double Broadax would be pretty good because, you know, he does have gold and food. And if you look at the top right, he actually has both of those resources too many if you if you, if you want to go that route. And then he could also get uh, horticulture would be pretty good because he's on berries yeah. right now. No, no, no. Horticulture is, is not worth it, right? Like... Mm -hmm. That's basically two villagers and no, a half a village, uh, one villager you can make with the food, right? That, I like mean, the upgrade is, is just not worth it. Right, 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 right. Because he has enough food, so he doesn't need more. Okay, I see what you're yeah, saying there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the house that he made. He made this house, like, in case he needs it. Yeah, but he, he made the blueprint with five or six villagers. That's what I saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Because it was urgent house, right? Right. But DC How's is a bit market? idle. Yeah, but uh, I mean, he's he's covering three villages in it. Right. It's worth it. Right, right, right. Uh, he doesn't have enough food to... Pr oh, he has 500. Never mind. I, I, I ah. thought he doesn't have food. That's why it's idle. Oh, he, no way! He re-rallied it. Okay, but he's going to get these guys any time now out of the town center. Yeah. And the other nine idles as well somewhere, right? He's got to fix them any second now. Mm-hmm. He's fixing some of these idols. Mm -hmm. They're right here. They were idling right here. Oh, okay. He's gonna go build that wall quickly. Yeah. He needs that I wall that ASAP. ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he should send like five or six more villagers to make the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, second TC is broken again. Do you ever have there, there's some well? there's something wrong with that TC. Yeah. <laughs> The TC is just completely bugged. There's something wrong I think, with that TC. I think he's about to make a Reddit post about bugged TCs not making villagers all the time. Mm -hmm. Five villagers ahead, though. That is pretty impressive. I mean, the TC is already up for nine minutes, right? Right. So the, the math does check out there, if you think about it. Yeah. If we crunch some numbers, that makes sense. Maybe, maybe the TCs are just so bad. Maybe we need a TC buff. Mm. Are we onto something? Hey, listen, I don't know exactly who, where, how supports the auto villager queue from town center, but I know one guy that would be up for it. Yeah. I'm just saying it would help him quite a bit. Maybe he could even hit Conqueror to them. Probably not, but it would help him. Probably not, but, you know, it would be nice. <clears throat> you, All right. You never know, right? Okay, we're going to see some rating. Again, guys, we're not focusing on the micro, just so you guys know. Uh, I want to be fair to him, right? Uh, I am just covering the claims that he has made, and he said micro is not his strong point. That's why I'm not checking the micro and the fights and all that. I'm looking at the macro and decision making and, and all that, because that's what he said he has the same as top pro players. Yeah, but his macro is flawless at least, right? The eco is running, the eco is balanced, it's everything going fine in the macro department. Right. I mean, I, I didn't see any mistakes so far. What what mm. do we think about the double wooden fortress on the gold? <laughs> I didn't see that! <laughs> I mean, he's, he's about to get pushed, right? He's just preparing. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, no. He just went there to get a wood. Maybe the influence wasn't connected. <laughs> no, there's no uh, way it's not connected, man. What do you mean? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> that, that, is, that was yeah. very much connected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fuck. Not again. I not again. Okay, oh. let's count together. He's going to move them very fast, guys. Any second right now, right? At 1650, he's gonna move them any moment. I mean, now. right now he's busy microing in the front. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. What did I say? What did I say? He's gonna move Even them any he's second. he's microing at the front, and he's fighting. Look at that, perfect farming as well. He shift queued them, so they're not gonna farm until they're actually all done. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the, the other 11, it's just like, again. Bro, 24 idle? Of the eco. I... <laughs> it can happen. You know, I'm starting to think, what's the point of making so many villagers when, like, one half of one third of your villagers are just always idle? No, at this point, I think, what is even the point of making a second TC if you don't use it? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he's already up nine villagers, right? 
Okay. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. The micro, again, we're not paying attention to that. Um. That's a big army. Yeah. And, wait, so Court, answer, help me with this one. Um. <clears throat> so there hasn't been many villager kills. Yeah. Right? If you look at the destruction value, right? It's 700 yeah. to 1k. He's doing a good job there, right? Right, right. So he's, pretty he's good job. There. So yeah. let me ask you, why does Byzantine have double the army? What's the... I think Byzantine is just broken, right? Like, what can I say? They're getting free units. Mm -hmm. Like, how can Rus compete? So it's not because he, like, didn't macro well or it's because... No, it's also not because it's floating like one and a half K gold almost. And okay, okay. No, I was just checking because I found it a bit weird because I was like, well, he's ahead economically and yeah. he didn't lose much as far as the army goes. So like he should have more units, not less. I mean, in any case, he's getting attacked. He can still use the Kremlin, right? And he's going to pop the Kremlins. And mm -hmm. boom, okay, okay. Yeah, they I, will I, was just, I was just checking. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, the TC is working by the way, it's back in production. The houses are coming up, uh, looking clean. He's getting the heat herbal medicine. What do you think about building the houses with five, six villages all the time? Sometimes I sometimes I do that, you know. Yeah, I mean, right now it's an emergency house, right? He's, he's already Yeah, because yeah, you so, need to make, yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta go to 200 ASAP. You gotta have at least yeah. 30 resource slot, reserve slots. Now, one thing I do love that he's doing here is he's leaving space between the farms so that units can move faster between the farms so they don't have to, to go <laughs> no, no, no. to like the wheat and, and corn no, farms. He, he's about to make some walls there to cover his farmers. Yo, build like a little maze. Yeah. Okay, I like that. No, I like that. I like that. I like the way he did that. Um, that makes sense. And look, look again back. Like, if he's leaving his space behind it, he's closer to the double wooden fortress, right? So he can garrison faster. True, 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 true. Okay, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> okay, here we go. He's transitioning to the wood line in the back, making some more farms. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty good. He's getting uh, divine light. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's getting burned right now. And I don't mean on stream. I mean like by the uh, Kyro. By the yeah. By the OP ramps. Uh, he's gonna counter attack. That's a sick raid, actually. He already mm -hmm. killed zero villagers with his raid. And he is. Uh... I mean, he's about to go heavy now, right? He killed one of them already. He doesn't need the army in the back. He can defend it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has a lot of army in, at home, right? Okay, he's cooking right here. He's cooking right here. Do you think he could win this game if he killed all villagers of Nicotine right now? I don't uh, know. I don't know. He might yeah, be. I, I he's don't cooking, think so. I think. Okay. Well, I mean, at least he lost the second TC, so he don't have to worry about making more villages. Okay, he activated the Kremlins before the uh, the, the Kremlin died, right? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, well, he can't use those anymore. That's that's really unlucky, because he probably didn't have food. Oh, never mind, he had food. Too. Yeah, but the Kremlin is too good, right? So <laughs> he wants to try to win without the Kremlin. Okay, so what do we see from this in team? So we see... Uh, we see some Landsknecht, so making the, the split formation is not worth it, right? Because... Otherwise, the Landsknecht are just not as effective as they could potentially be. Right, so you want to stack all your men at arms yeah, and yeah, spearmen. Exactly. It's like attack. playing against the Mangonel, you want to be clumped you up. You want to stack so you... them. Yeah, because okay. if the Mangonel is shooting, you have more room to dodge, right? Mm -hmm. If you are in the split formation, the units, they just move not so great. Okay, okay, I'm just checking. Also, the TC is focusing the knight. That's also great, right? But then the knights good are going, raid, good raid. going hard, man. Good raid. He's killing Listen, their villagers. You gotta give him credit where credit's due. Good raid. Yeah. And the Mangonel. Wow. Okay. Okay. Is Listen, okay? you gotta give him credit where it's due. Very yeah. good Mangonel shot. Okay, and very good raid. Look at that. The second TC paid off. He's up 40 villagers. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
32 workers killed. That's very good. Very good stuff. The raids are uh, going back right now. Now, the army count... I'm not too sure. It's not looking great. Bright. And the double wooden fortress is not even upgraded. Which is pretty good. All this sarcasm is gonna uh, be interpreted as good advice? No, th that wasn't sarcasm. That was a good mangal shot, and that was a good raid. He killed a lot of villagers. Yeah, but it's not gonna change anything. Right, but that those were good raids and good mangal shots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, he is on fire once again, and I don't mean, you know, just because the town center is on fire. Uh, the TC is not producing, but it's fine, because that TC hasn't been producing in, you know, for most Good of the no, game. No. Mm -hmm. I like his approach now, right? He's making a lot of siege. Yeah, I mean, at this point, because you're chopping a lot of wood, um, you should just try mango on the right and try to defend. So that's that's a good decision. Yeah. Very good move. Okay, mango now on the chiropractor. Oh god, he's getting he's getting torched. <laughs> okay, he's pulling the boys. Oh, the relics are getting oh, stolen. Hey, hey, bring back oh, the yo, relics. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, give back the relics. Oh my god, that's just rude. No, no, y don't right take now, that. He, like, he's committing the villagers, right? He has too many right now. He cannot use all of them. So, getting rid of the rams is worth it here. And and you might even say the fact that he lost both town centers, he doesn't need to produce villagers anymore. So it's like, it might be an advantage, right? <laughs> I mean, at least he's not able to have an IDPC right now. <laughs> True. This is the one situation where having idle TC is justified, by the way. Yeah, but at least he's repairing with a lot right now, so he's getting it back up soon. Okay, yeah, he's he's repairing. It's gonna he's be must here. repairing, actually. <laughs> Stop! And look at, uh, Stop, I mean, Core! You're, you're making me laugh! Idols. Uh, but at least he's about to mine some more gold, right? Because that's what we need right now. That's what's gonna save us. Okay. He's cooking. I don't know what you're saying, but he's cooking. Yeah, I mean, nicotine eco is... Almost zero, right? He's cooking. Okay. The economy looks somewhat equal for both of these guys. Even, I mean, well, one I mean, has a I, bit I, more. Okay, he has less food. But he has I, oil, though, so. Yeah, I prefer Nicotine's economy right now because it's not idle like half of the game. Okay. Um. Okay, repair Kremlin. Okay, right. you gotta get those landmarks back up. Now the army is coming, we'll speed up here because this game is turning into a little bit of a clown fiesta. Now guys, don't be confused, the TC is only idle right now because he's repairing it. Yeah. When he repairs it, it will be idle because he's not building immediately. it. Immediately. Yeah. As right. soon as the TC is back up, you can see him queuing villagers straight up. I would assume so. He's probably yeah. gonna queue up straight Do away. Do you think he's losing to sacred sites? Ah, that would never happen, right? No, 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 no shot. A caliber player, a caliber of his? No way. Yeah, he's probably just gonna send his entire. I lose to sacred sites. Sacred. You know what I mean? That's there's no shame losing to sacred sites. Losing to a okay. wonder would be cringe, but sacred sites? I mean, that's a okay. Let's make sure we check the TC. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'm checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's about to realize any moment. At 25, it finished. He's about to restart production. Yeah, yeah. Sh any second. Right now, he's busy having the sacred site, right? At any second, he's about to kill him up. Oh, there it is! Yeah. So what was that? Like I mean, a... Just another I'm... 25 seconds. I mean, come on, that's nothing. That's basically nothing. Alright, so what else do we got? Okay, I mean, at this point, okay, he needs another mining camp. Because he wants to sandwich the, the stone, right? He wants I mean, to... No, no, no. He, he just wants to be more efficient, right? So... He's about to send 30 more villagers here, so he can drop off on both sides. Ah, okay, I, was, I wasn't thinking that way, but... That, that makes sense when you put it I like mean, that. I mean, you you should know, right? You're the mass god... In, mass uh, like, stone wall, right? Yeah, you, you, yeah you're yeah, experienced yeah, yeah, yeah. in mining yeah, a lot yeah, of stone, yeah, yeah. right? So right, right, you right, should right, be right. experienced in that department. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, We see Nicotine is a massive army. That is a big army, core. Yeah. That is and a big army. Spring outs, right? mm -hmm. Surely he's not gonna lose the Mangonauts, right? 
Uh, maybe he is because he needs yeah, yeah. Too. he's probably gonna lose the fight guys because of the micro not because the enemy has doubled the army due to macro earlier in the game he's yeah he said his micro is bad and we don't flame him for it in fact he has had some good mangano shots actually yeah. uh he's had some good mangano shots so if he loses this fight it has nothing to do with macro decision making strategy tactics it's because of the micro uh, the opponent just has better micro because the opponent is diamond three, right? Oh, wait, but that doesn't make sense because the opponent is lower rated. Good Mangana shots again. Mm -hmm. He's cooking. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, okay, Mangana's. Okay, another big shot. Oh, another okay. Goes. okay, very good. Clean. Now, I think this fight would have been closer if his army was like twice the size, for example, right? Yeah, but how is he supposed to have a double sized army, right? Right. I mean, how? That's not possible, right? Yeah, Rus has really bad economy, actually. Yeah. They don't have bonus for, like, uh, yeah. gold, wood, and food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a great game that was. That actually was a very nice game. I love that. I think he's 100% gonna pop the gremlins now. Oh, yeah, he actually. There it is. There's the gremlins, and he's gonna oh, send this fake. Okay. They're getting cooked a little bit. I mean, at least they're fighting with the army together, right? It's not like the army is arriving now while the gremlins are already done. Oh, more gremlins are coming. Yeah, I mean, why not? The mangle. I think that was a mangle. Maybe it was a sprinkle. I didn't see. Goes down. Okay, he's counter pushing. But he did decap the sacred side, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. He's getting this game under control once again. Now the yeah. fighting continues, just gnashing onto each other. Perfect production. Oh, no idol. Wait, okay, wait. Nicotine was down 40 villagers earlier. And now. Oh, back up. Oh, no. That's unfair, because he's producing from both of his town centers, not just one. <laughs> that, 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 that's unfair. You yeah, cannot yeah, make a... Yeah. You cannot make a second TC and then produce out of it. Come Wait, did, are you trying to tell me that he catched up so many villagers with just using two town centers? Guys, that no, was no, a right. 40 different... 40 villager difference. It was 40, right? 32 to yeah, like 35, something? Yeah, 35, yeah. Damn. Alright. And all of that was just two town centers. Crazy. I also love the fact he rebuilt the monastery in front again, so he can just lose the relic again. <laughs> and the Lansknecht, they are doing a great job here. Oh, but the army numbers are getting closer. But okay. the eco, look at the eco numbers. It's falling one more behind. What's happening? That's crazy. I would never expect that. I mean, 58 on food now, for right? Nicotine. Nicotine playing this clean. The best player I've seen in a while. Look at that macro. Monster. Macro machine even. Oof. Yo, he's Ooh. making another town center. I I don't I think this is maybe he wanted a lumber camp here, but it will serve as a lumber camp actually, so let's see, is he gonna I don't think he's gonna use it a lot to be honest. 15 seconds. No, he's gonna produce immediately. Look at this. At 32 15 it finished, he's gonna produce out of it. What is with his main town center? He's gonna produce out of it. His main town center is cooking. He's queued up 50 villagers. <clears throat> this one is about to start producing. Just wait. Give him a minute or two. Okay, a minute. To... Oh, there we go. Not even a minute has passed and he fucking queued up. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Okay, again, we're not looking at the fight for micro. We don't touch that. Um... Mm -hmm. Wow, what a beautiful game that was. I love that game personally. I think that was just... Uh, overall, there were not too many mistakes, right? Yeah, I mean... He might be right, there is not a big difference between me 
and Marine Lord and Vortex and Lucifron and I conquer one player. Just a small difference, probably. Just, yeah, right. Just maybe tiny differences. Now, I think if the mm -hmm. micro would have been a bit better, he could have won this game. Yeah, yeah. I think I but think again, the micro. He's not a micro player, so that's yeah. Like, right. He. It's okay, out of guys. Control, right? ju just to let you guys know why I've done this, if you're like, this thing, you're being mean to this guy. This guy has made multiple Reddit threads about me, calling me out on various ridiculous things. This is the guy that's been saying that the difference between a top level player and him is non-existent. The only difference is micro. That's the only thing there is. I would not go hunt some random fucking guy that's like conquer one and he's trying his best. You know what I mean? I would never do that. But if you go after me, I'll give you some free coaching. You know, that's it. That's just the kind of guy I am. I'll give you some free coaching. You know, I'll check out your replay uh, and, and I'll give you some advice. So I know he's watching this. He is permanently banned in a lot of streams uh, and obviously my stream too. So I, I know he can't type unless he's used uh, uh, Surfshark VPN uh, to bypass his permanent ban, which you can use the link in the chat if you guys want. Uh, you know, uh, Surfshark does sponsor my stream, so you can use the VPN to come back into my chat after you get permabanned, which is probably, he is in the chat. But what I wanted to say is, um, you know, now this is the free coaching part. <clears throat> so I think that, uh, you know, a as a current, one of the, better players in the game i would say that micro is the least of your problems uh i think and, uh, you should go ahead i also have another product placement right i also offer coaching so hilberis if you want to improve your game here and there that's bit, true feel free to dm me right message now. core right now he will sort you out he will help you out immediately one lesson boom you're gonna get to conquer one. Oh wait he's conquer one right uh, I thought he, I was thinking about goalie. Uh, he will get you to conquer two immediately. This is your biggest problem and what you can do to improve. Uh, so the first things first is maybe find a good build order because your build order, not good. We used that like about a year, year and a half ago. I would suggest <clears throat> youtube.com slash bcqdsc2. Great guides for every sieve. Now I know you only play the most broken sieves, which is Rus and Ottoman right now, but I have guides for those too. So you can, you know, check them out, maybe update your game a little bit. And then uh, probably your biggest, I don't know if Core agrees with this, but I think the idle time on the production, mainly town centers. Like when you get at second town center, you do want to make villagers out of it. Because the more villagers you have, the more economy you will have, and then you will be able to make more units. Am I right on that, Core? Or... Yeah, that's also what I tell my students. And even if you don't mm -hmm. make the perfect units, even if you don't micro properly, if right. you have better eco and you just make units, you will just end up winning because the game does a lot of things for you if you just attack move. I and would if even... you have more, you just take better fights, right? Right. I would even go as far as say, Core, that you can probably get to conquer three without even micro, just a moving stuff around as long as you macro well and do some. I mean, that's decisions. what I do in eighty percent of my games. <clears throat> right. If you guys again, Core, great coach, uh, player. Not know. so great. <laughs> Right, doesn't micro a lot, you know. He tries, and he's still high conquer three. So th there's and the also beat Beastie three years ago in an HRE mirror. That's right? true. So he did it. beat me three years ago in an HRE mirror. And uh, you know why I main HRE? Because the melee units are good and the attack move the best. That's Boom. right. So maybe, maybe you know, stay away from the range units, stick to melee units. Maybe try out HRE or something like that. So I would yeah, say just stop making archery ranges. <clears throat> right, right, right. So I would say. Probably don't idle your town centers. Uh, that would be a good one. Uh, get earlier eco upgrades. That would help you quite a bit. But if you do get uh, eco upgrades to get more economy, then you should definitely practice a little bit using your production buildings. Maybe using hotkeys as well. I'm not sure if you have your buildings hotkeyed. That's something you could do. And um, you don't need wooden fortress next to gold. Um, especially not two, right? So... Those are all the things that I think if you work on them a little bit, just have, all you gotta do is just have constant villager production and army production and you'll be conquered too in no time. Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Hillberries is just sliding in my DMs. Oh, I got him. Fine. 
All right. Okay, you got him. Okay, Core will get him covered. He's gonna be conquered too in no time. So I would actually love to see Hillberries playing against Mongols. And you know what? I think. You know what? I think. I think we've cooked them enough for today. Yeah, but there will be more days, right? Now, if he would like another coaching session like this... I mean, you would see him on Reddit tomorrow anyway, right? If I do see him, I, I, I you know, I might review his game against Mongols. But there it is, guys. Uh, we went through his game and we see uh, why he is Conquer 1. Whichever way you want to take that statement. Or... I want to thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Thanks that was beautiful. Uh, of course, anytime. If you're watching this on YouTube, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. Mongol tower rushing people and having a 100% win rate because it's unbeatable. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.